Hey, what's going on everyone? Back here with Shadow and Flame 2.0, a great mod for Battle for Middle Earth 1 back from 2004. Now this time we're taking Mordor to the crossroads. Now let's jump into it, grab a beverage, a drink of your choice, sit back, relax, and we'll get it right into it. And we're doing this again! <laughs> I forgot to add my webcam overlay, but yeah. Don't forget to check the links down below and all that. Yeah, and we get Nazgul to aid us this time which is mad cool um, and you start with a Nazgul you actually get a Nazgul in the campaign as a hero like how fucking cool is that that's like mad cool yeah instead of uh, Amanda pick up tree yeah instead of um putting the pop-ups to my second channel I'm just gonna advertise vocally but um I, I only did it because like I got some criticism about it and I, the only reason I did it it's easier than remembering each time to advertise it but basically what I do on the second channel it's anything that isn't Lord of Rings related so I've done like tier lists I've do, I do classic gaming walkthroughs game reviews all sorts of things it's because I found on this channel, when I played other games, I just lost subscribers because I played way too many Lord of the Rings games too much and it just like killed the algorithm. Right. Oh, I get fucking wrecked. Yeah, Gondor Knights are pretty powerful. I should have used them more. But, uh, yeah, I've got to play m more of the evil campaign in between maps. I've been told, like, originally I was like, I'm not going to record them all, but I don't see the harm, because I actually get pretty good views from them, surprisingly. Especially the evil campaign ones, and, like, because when I did 1.0 slash 1.1, I didn't actually 100% the evil campaign. I did a fair whack of it. Actually. <coughs> but I did, yeah, I did, like, a fair amount of it. My lock go there. Holy Mary, Mother of God! Can you not cross the river? Yeah. Okay. And when I last, when I played, there was a bug where um, the Witch King teleported into the base. He wasn't anywhere near it. He was like over here, and he teleported in. And I was like, "All right. Wait, can Mimikil not get over the river?" Or the bridge. What the fuck? Yeah, all dead, 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 dead. <laughs> no, my moo kill. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> yeah, the moo kill have to apparently make their way around the bridge because I can't cross the fucking bridge which I think's wild <laughs> it's maybe they're too heavy for the bridge <laughs> fuck but yeah I'm re-recording this because I forgot to put my webcam on I hate it when I do stuff that's why I, when I recorded the Edoras mission I forgot to have my microphone turned on and like normally I do a backup save of like just in case something like that happens. And it was one time I didn't do it. And I got criticism for skipping that mission. And I was like, I'm sorry, I fucked up, right? <laughs> I made a boo boo. I made an absolute fucking boo boo. Hey, that's mine. Fuck. It's a wild cave troll. Kill him if it comes any closer. But yeah, I, I also have to do a bit of a thank you. This channel's been doing a lot better lately. Like, I've gained like 20 subs in three weeks, and also, and I've gained like a fit, like I gained like nearly a K views in the last two days. And I'm like, that's fucking mental. Like, that is so good for me. Because it used to be, for about a year ago, I was gaining uh, like 10k a month for a while and then it just died it just
fucking died off. And I didn't, yeah. That situation, I'm like, ah, oh, God. See, I know some people were like, why'd you make a second channel? Well, what's the point? And I'm like, because the YouTube algorithm, right? You gotta be as specific as you possibly can. And I thought it was easier to brand one of your Lord of the Rings game channel, or Lord of the Rings content, and one for other stuff. And I just thought that was, that was the way to go. It was just the way. Alright, come on, buddy. Squash him! Oh, what happened there? Holy... Mary, mother of God. If I put them on fire, can they destroy it? No, they can't. <laughs> it was worth a shot! Alright, in you go. I call this move a suicide movement kill. There's a lot of pikes there. This is probably not going to go as well as I hoped. Come on, do it, do it! Oi! <laughs> Suicide mammoth! <laughs> what are you doing? Get back to work! Yeah, you get another Nazgul, it's cool. got an attack troll. Keep him in reserve because I kind of want to keep them. <clears throat> but yeah, I I goofed up like kind of really badly. The first guy, I lost my whole army taking out their base. I was like, mm, whoopsie daisies. we go! Alright, you don't need to play suicide. Nearby enemy cab lose fi minus 15% speed. That is weirdly specific. <laughs> that is like really specific. It's like... No! I would shit a brick if I saw a Nazgul. I'd be like, nope, put the sword down, I give up. <laughs> I see. Where are my army? What's this? Oh, why'd they all fuck off? I probably saw the Nazgul and shat a brick. See, I posted a glitch in the Discord if anyone from the team is watching this. There was another one, and I don't really know how to screenshot it, because it only happens sometimes. So, you know you destroy a citadel, they can't build, right? You have to rebuild the citadel. Well, I've seen it where they can rebuild if the citadel is mid-construction. Not completely constructed, just mid-construction. And I wouldn't quite know how to screenshot that or 
What, there's like an inconsistent bug and I've never seen it before? And I don't, I don't want to prank, but I've been playing Battle for Middle Earth for a really long time. <laughs> I got it. See, Battle for Middle Earth came out late in Australia, late 2004. Now, I originally I got Return of the King for PS uh, for PC, and it had the advertisement on the back. I've still got the disc, so I've got all my Biff Me discs, and I've got the Return of the King on PC disc. It's got the advertisement for Battle for Middle Earth. My birthday's in October. I got Battle for Middle Earth one in November when it came out, and. Yeah, I was blown away. This is why I prefer Biff Me 1, because that stuck is so much in my childhood. But uh, I think a lot of people that prefer, um... Prefer, uh, Rise of the Witch King. Especially, like, I've noticed some of them are the younger generation where, uh... They went around when Biff Me 2 first came out, and it was fucking atrocious like I remember like Swordman could knock down gates really easily the balance was bad the campaign was really short like everything great about the campaign from Biff Me 1 like you carry soldiers over you play out the movies you take the territories it was so awesome and then they just scrapped that with the free building Biff Me 2 because it runs off the same engine as Biff Me, uh, as Command and Conquer. Now, Command and Conquer actually plays a lot like the bottom mod. If you've never played that, so you got your main building, like your citadel, whatever. In Command and Conquer, you have a radius where you can build, and you can expand that radius. That's pretty much how Botter plays. And Biff Me Two just went full blown free build, which free build's good. Like, don't get me wrong, I love free build. Like, especially because I was a big player of, um... Uh... I played a lot of Age of Empires. Age of Empires 2 was the first RTS I played. Like, the first strategy games I played were... Battle for Middle Earth, Age of Empires 2, Rome Total War, Civilization. 4. Civ 4 came a bit later, but... Yeah, like... <laughs> And I still love those games, that's why I play older games, I want to pass that nostalgia on. And a lot of people like... I'm actually, it's kind of nice to see that people love Battle for Middle Earth so much, like, I've seen people playing it that literally would have been born after it came out. <laughs> so they haven't, they've only seen the modding era. But yeah, like, I I still stand by the opinion that Biff Me would not be as popular as it is if it weren't for mods. It, it would have died out years ago. Aside from maybe a small group of people. <laughs> See, I just, yeah. And that's not to say, like, anything really, like, it's still subjective. Chase them down. But yeah, it's definitely, uh, So, uh, yeah, that was definitely your old kind of situation, but, eh, fuck it. God, they are tanky. Yeah. Anyway, welcome to my TED Talk. <laughs> But yeah, uh, I think I think it's quite brilliant that like people love the. G That's the thing about PC gaming is like the amount of games kept alive through modding is insane. Uh, I 
cool. But yeah, I, I definitely, um... Fucking hell, those goblins are gonna win the game for me! But yeah... I'm s See, I was... How old was I when this came out? I was six. <laughs> and there's much older people... There's people that were like... I've played with that were like fucking teenagers. Or nearly adults when this came out. But it runs... Yeah, it runs off the same engine as Commander Conquer. Commander Conquer... Uh, actually, that was another one I didn't mention. I played the shit out of Commander Conquer 3 when that came out. Like, loved it. Speaking of which, I've got to restart my playthrough of Command & Conquer. Because <coughs> I, uh, I started, I got to like Mission 8 and then got stuck and I've got to get back to it on the second channel. See, I'm trying to talk more in these videos because sometimes... See, for a while I was editing out silent bits, but I wasn't sure about it. Um, a new power is but then I've watched other YouTubers that have big breaks in talking and people don't seem to mind, so, yeah, fuck it. Uh, got a lower score than I did the first time, fuck. Ah, uh, that sucks. Probably because I didn't lose my army, so I didn't get like a shitload on unit veterancy. Anyway. Bugger it! I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Alright, Sir Christopher Lee, I know you're awesome. But do not interrupt me. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time. Goodbye for now. Share the love. Welcome back to the end of the video. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you can subscribe to my channel, check out my Patreon, and all that below. Patreon gives you nice little benefits, supports the channel, you get your own private Discord, which I will show down here, with behind the scenes stuff, so that's cool, and you get updates and stuff that you wouldn't normally get, so yep. We have our main Discord, which is shared between Nadaline and me, where you get updates from all our stuff, you get mod news, gaming news, lots of chats. And things like that. We also have the Biff Me English community, which is kind of a Tolkien community where we just have updates from um, Loring's content creators, and but there's no pings on them, so other than me and Nadaline. Um, but there's a lot of information here. This is the old DO DOA server, um, which means DOA is not completely out of the question. And don't forget to check out my social media. I now have a link tree. I'll post the screenshots above. Once again, thank you all for watching. And I hope to see you in the future. Goodbye for now.